76 million Americans own a dog. Hi, my name is Trista Day and I am one of those 76 million people. I chose this project because I have a strong passion for animals. This matters to me because I have two pets of my own, Maggie and Duncan. The love and passion I have for animals is what drove me to complete this project. Pets make people happier. How do relationships with our pets affect our mental health? I learned that having pets will increase your happiness. Animals add a loyal and loving companion to the home. An average of 68% of households have a pet. Animals are often used as therapy mechanisms to reduce stress and anxiety. Researching brought me to some amazing challenges, but also brought me to some really good TED Talks. One of these TED Talks really caught my attention so much that I made my family sit down and watch the entire 16-minute video. This TED Talk was done by Marshall Coffey. She pointed out some really important details about how animals affect our mental health. One very interesting thing she did at the beginning of her talk was put out some pictures of like the homeless, house fires, 9-11, and the whole crowd went silent. These were the pictures she put. As you can see, they're very sad. Then she put out some pictures like this, animals, and the crowd began to laugh, conversations spoke out, people started to get happy, smiles, and this shows the instant happiness that pets do for us. A huge part of my project was volunteering my time at Live and Let Live Farm. Live and Let Live Farm Rescue and Sanctuary is an animal shelter that rescues abused and unwanted animals. When these animals aren't rescued, they are given a lifetime care and home at Live and Let Live Farm. Visiting this farm taught me all kinds of different love. Hence, I have two dogs, I don't have horses. This connects to my project because I got to see the relationships of volunteers with their pets and how my relationship volunteering with these pets. The second part of my project was taking photographs of families and their pets. I learned many things doing this. One being, humans love their pets and pets love their humans. Second, some pets cooperate and most don't. Third, was simply seeing families and owners come together with a smile on their face once the pet entered the photo. As you can see in these photos I took, the pets are smiling and so are the families. My message was that pets make people happier. For these photos, I set each animal on this individual blanket to prove I took these photos. And then I brought the families in individually. After taking these photos, I could happily and confidently say that I still agree that pets make people happier. Now I'm going to play two different individual videos of two different people to prove a relationship between a pet and a human. Here's the first video. <laughs> Hello. Came in one day and they're like, Mary, you were on TikTok. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, you know what for? Uh -huh. like, Merlin. And I was like, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm making another one. I love it. <laughs> Thank you Merlin so much. Okay. Yay. Oh my god, that is beautiful. You can enjoy go. that. <laughs> He's so excited to come here. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Mary. Happy New Year. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I know you're very excited. This should not be too messy. Let's hope and pray. Let's see if he likes the dragon fruit. This is. What do you think? What do you think? Is that delicious? I'm sure, as all of you are very surprised with a pig, I was too. After watching this video, I think we can all agree that this woman and her pig have a great relationship. Now, here's the second video. Wait, are you kidding me? Let him out.
video, I'm sure we can definitely say that that was pure happiness. This video genuinely proves the happiness between a human and a pet. Based on my research, volunteering experience, and taking photographs, I can proudly say pets make people happier. This project brought such happiness, but it also brought a lot of struggles. Being a busy high school student makes finding volunteering time hard, considering this is something I love and truly care about. I made the time and ended it with a smile. Questions? Owen. How many families did you photograph? Um, I did Jill, and then I did three other families.